Hey everybody, it is Ed. All right, today's video, I am going to show 10 records in my collection, specifically Elvis Presley records that have sold for over $500 or more. That's right. That's right. I have 10 Elvis Presley records in my collection that have been documented to sell for over $500. What are they, you? Well, I'm going to find out. Actually, I have 11. I made like kind of like a top 10. Based it mostly off of stuff that was on Discogs. I did something similar to this uh, a couple of years back, but I figured this probably be a good update because this is the way that it happened to work out and you will see that there is a common thread as we go through this list all right but when um when i when i talk about the prices i get my documentation from disc uh discogs whereas they have three listed prices they have the lowest price that a particular record has sold for they have the median price, and then they have the highest price that the record has sold for. So when I say that, you know, these records have sold for over 500 or more, I'm basing it on that H uh, or high price from Discogs. So based on that, we start at number 10 slash 1110, or a tie for number 10. Because this particular record, the high price, um, or for both of them, was a penny or two pennies shy of $500. So I'm going to round it up to 500 But we have Elvis Presley's Jailhouse Rock FTD release, 2LP, I believe from 2009. Very, very difficult to find in this day in age and also promised land which the high price for this was 499.98 and this was 499.99 there you go all right so these two records sold for one thousand dollars there you go all right the median price for jailhouse rock was 216 and the median price for promised land was 152.17 all right now going to number nine number nine high price for this was an even 500 dollars, and this is the jungle room sessions and again another ftd release and this was i believe the third or fourth ftd release and again, this came out in 2009. So, no, actually, this came out after Standing Room Only, if I remember correctly. So, it was Blue Hawaii, Standing Room Only, and then the Jungle Room session. So, again, token $500, and the median price for this one was $206.37. Unreal, right? All right, next on the list, we have That's the Way It Is special edition 2LP set, and again, FTD release, right? All right, and this one, the uh, high price that this sold for was $515. And again, these are discog prices, may have sold higher on eBay is a possibility, all right? But 515 and then 178.12 for the median price on this one. Again, still not very shabby. All right, then going from there, we are at number seven. Number seven, this one, the high price, this sold for $585.11. This was something for everybody. Again, two LPs. This is the FTD version. And again, way out of print, highly sought after. This was from 2014. All right, so again, something for everybody, 585.11, and then the median price on this one was 
Excuse me, 74. All right, and then number six, number six on the list, we have Viva Las Vegas. Again, another FTD release. Now, remember, these are all albums that are sold for over $500. Seeing a common theme yet? All right, so Viva Las Vegas, the high uh, number on this, according to Discogs, it was 624.89. With a median at a piece, uh, yeah, look at that, 107.53. All right. But the high price on this, a respectable 624.89. Extremely respectable. I mean, what the hell? All right, Viva Las Vegas. And again, FTD. All right, coming up to the top five. Can you guess what they may be? What category they may be under? All right, number five we have at $696.00. High selling price on Discogs. Elvis, good times. The outtakes, uh, highly, highly sought after. And again, this one was from 2010. 2010, so 14 years old already. Original concept for the back cover. This would have been the original cover. But they changed it, and that's it. So again, we have FTD, 696.20. And the median price was $216. All right. And then we have Elvis Country. I couldn't believe the high price on this one. Holy cow. Are you ready? Just under $750. That's right. $749.99. I'm going to say $750. All right. But there you go. Holy cow. It's a great album. But again, FTD, double LP, special edition, different cover, different takes. All that good stuff. So, again, high price was $749.99. And the median was $172.03. All right. Then, going on to number three. Number three, the elusive, highly, highly sought after Blue Hawaii. And this had a high selling price on Discogs for... 977.17. That's right. You heard me right, people. I said $977.17. That's amazing. All right. And then the median price on this was $242.50. All right. So it's $242.50. And there we go. Blue Hawaii. Nice. This was the very first FTD LP release back in 2009. And um, yeah. So. All right, number two, number two, the Elvis is Back Sessions. Another beaut. Very, very, very difficult to get this one. And if you do find it, buena suerte. Good luck. All right, this was released in 2011. And again, highly sought after. Very, very difficult to obtain. How difficult? Well, high selling price was, hold on to your hats, people. You ready? $998.89. That's right. I said $989. I'm sorry, $98.89. And the median price on this was $283. So good luck getting your hands on this if you are looking for it. And then last but not least, we have number one. Those of you who are watching, you may already know what it is. Those of you not watching, you may be like, well, what is it? Well, plain and simple. It is simply the second. Release of TDLP, which is Standing Room Only. And this, again, was released in 2009. And the highest listing selling price for this is, ready? <laughs> $1,125. That's right. Median, median price for this was $483. That's right. $483 to $1,125. So, again, good luck getting your hands on this one. So, I mean, if you take the high price of, of these 11 that, that I just showed you, you are looking at approximately $7,800 for 10 records. Okay? All right? Or if you even go by the median price, you're looking at approximately $2,400. And again, for 10 records... All right, technically it's 20 records because they are each double LPs, but still, uh, wow, just wow. So I'm going to tell you what, yeah, if anybody wants to give me uh, $7,800 for, for these, hit me up. <laughs> All right, but otherwise, 
Leave me a comment if you would like. Appreciate you watching. It's crazy. That's crazy. Do you know this common theme? Let me know in the comments. Appreciate you watching. Good to yourselves. Good to each other. Take care, everybody.